There is no question that corporate organisations see the critical importance of analytics now and recently the CIO community voted at their number one spending priority in 2012. And it's not surprising when you consider the range of business challenges that make analytics such a hot topic for corporate organisations, such as profitable growth. Do they understand their financials, their operational data, well enough to compete effectively in the marketplace? The regulators are putting increased demands on people from compliance perspective. Uh, is there a risk exposure? And making sure that is all where it needs to be. And there's also the challenges with the exponential growth of data, both in structured and unstructured form. How do organisations make sense of it? Then there's technology. Technology can't be underestimated. It's both an enabler, but it's also a driver for change. There's cloud computing, there's mobility, there's a number of new innovations around in-memory computing that make it a different landscape for organisations to deal with. And this is all further complicated for organisations by challenges such as data strategy. Do organisations know what data they've got, what state it's in? what data they need to align to their business objectives. Do they understand what they need to do to integrate that information across the undoubted silos that it currently resides in? Do they know what their organisation needs to look like and what skills they might need already to make the most of that information and govern it effectively? And do they know what they need to do to shift the culture of their organisation to maximise the value both in exploiting and protecting that information? We often find organisations need to fix the basics first. They need to fix their enterprise information management, which comprises things like data quality, integration, governance, security, those types of things, the plumbing. And we recently worked with a global oil and gas major who had exactly that challenge. They had lots of successful, discrete operations around the globe, but they didn't have a single information management strategy, a single repository, some common data sets to get the true value out of the information they held. Then having addressed these foundational elements, clients typically look to apply analytics to real business problems, such as risk and regulation. They need to measure, monitor what they're doing against the compliance expectations they may have. So for example, in the telecoms industry, there's a need to show that they are costing their services and their products appropriately and we've supported people in deriving those cost models. From a workforce perspective, we focus on enhancing and optimising workforce processes and intelligence. And an example of that is working with a global media and technology provider where we looked at the staff shift patterns and optimised that through a number of analytical models such that it more appropriately met customer demand across their European base. From a customer and growth perspective, we've supported leading retailers look at what their customer data strategy should be and help them define that, as well as how to create a unified view of that customer and ultimately apply the analytical models to get the most value from that customer base and segment it appropriately. From an operations perspective, we seek to add actionable insight into the value chain of that organisation. And we've recently worked with a global telecoms operator, helping them look at their engineering field force and strip out some of the inefficiencies there by analysing uh, through the process at a forensic data level what was going on, surfacing that through some data visualisation and then coming up with some analytical models that helped forecast and improve the efficiencies of that team. And finally from a finance perspective where we look to manage and monitor and optimise the end-to-end -end finance management process set for, for clients that we work with. We often work with the likes of utilities companies where they have challenges in terms of imbalances between energy volumes that are settled by industry and what customers are ultimately billed and making sure that the two appropriately reconcile and we use our models to enable that to happen. So those are just some of the ways that we've been helping our corporate clients exploit and protect their information through analytics.